This is going to be the SOD Phase 2 Level 40 PvE Shadow Bis. We're going to do the Shadow Bis, or Shadow Prebis, sorry. The Easy Prebis that I've also done, and then the Bis. And keep in mind that these could change at any time as we discover more stuff. And I will endeavor to keep the Bis lists as up to date in the description as possible. If not, they will be most up to date in the sub channel on the Discord. Without further ado, let's get into the Prebis. So there's going to be a Rakmar's Tattered Thinking Cap and Black Shroud Choker. We've got the Inquisitor's Shawl. We've got Long Silken Cloak. Robe of the Magi. As Tonykin breaks in. Uninvited, by the way, Tonykin. Uh, the Dryad's Wrist Bindings. Rod of the Ancient Sleepwalker. Dreamweave Gloves. Star Belt. Shadowy Pants, Extra Planar Spider Silk Boots, Two Underworld Bands, Rune of Perfection, Invoker's Void Pearl, and Necrotic Wand. Now this assumes that you haven't done the sort of big farm or whatever it is for the STV ring, and uh, it doesn't include things like Rank 5 and AB Exhort and stuff like that. Um, where there's potential things that have a bit higher damage on, but overall the items are fairly balanced they're not just pure like raw shadow damage on everything it does include a little bit of intellect and spirit as well to balance it out because uh, you can just go shadowy wrath in a lot of slots and it'd be actually more damage uh, but you most likely will be going oom um, we'll have to see how that mana balances out with the you know the shadow fiend the dispersion and 50 percent mana cost off shadow spells that shadow form now has so quick look at the easy previous so a lot of the same, but there's a few more greens on there. Cheaper BOEs in general, rather than the expensive stuff like the Underworld bands, which are no doubt going to go for a lot. Things like uh, the tailoring boots are staying on there, however, but the BFD loot is gone. And then the PvE Shadow Biss. Going to have the tailoring helm, the piston pendant, synthetic mantle, blood rock cloak, hyperconductive robe. And again, this is using the... Uh, the damage set. We've got the Dryad's Wrist Bindings, Glimmering Gizmo Blade, and Umbral Crystal. Then we've got the Dreamweave Gloves. We've got the Defiler's Cloth Girdle. So this assumes you have done, so maybe. Hyperconductive Skirt, Hyperconductive Walkers. Then we've got the Sanguine Shadow Band, Underworld Band, Combustion Chamber. As the nice damage on it, as well as the Void Pearl and the Gear Shifter. Now, for PvP, we're going to go through the Prebus first. And it's going to be a lot of similar stuff here uh, compared to the, the Disc PvP Bis, but we'll take a look. So we've got the Invoker's Shawl. Now, I would actually replace this with this because you're not going to get the two sets since you're going to run robe of the lich so a small adjustment here uh we've got the ghost shard talisman it has nice nice stamina on it and some damage and healing then we've got the berylene pads silky spider cape robe of the lich dryads wrist bindings and the rod then we've got the black fingerless gloves shadowy belt necromancer leggings We've got Extra Planar Spider Silk Boots, Two Underworld Bands, Invoker's Void Pearl, Standard PvP Trinket, and Necrotic Wand. And then the Cheap Prebis. Going to have some slightly different things on. I would actually suggest changing this for Stoneweaver Leggings. No, I wouldn't. I changed my mind. They're healing only. So we'll continue with this. I think the Necromancer leggings are going to be a bit pricey, but there's not that much of an option. We've got Augural Shroud on the helm. And this this assumes that you're maybe a fresher character, so you don't have the rep. You haven't done BFD, maybe, or yeah, you, you don't want to spend a lot of gold. So this is all cheap stuff on this one. Uh, we've got the Ghost Shard Talisman still. Berylene Pads, Silky Spider Cape, and Robes of the Lish. These all stayed. But the braces are going to be slightly different. We're going to be using Bloodband Braces and Illusionary Rod rather than the Epic. Uh, we've got Revlosh's Gloves, 
Shadowy Belt and Necromancer Leggings stay the same. This will probably be the most expensive piece. The Extra Planar Spider Silk Boots. Advisor's Ring. Lone Tree Circle. Rune of Perfection. And then the Insignia. With the Necrotic Wand from the SM Graveyard to finish. So that was the easy, easy pre -bis. And then the full bis is very similarly to the, the Discworld PvP build. With the Tailoring Helm, Piston Pendant, Synthetic Mantle, Blood Rock Cloak, Hyperconductive Robe. So again, we're using the damage set for this one. We've got the Dryad's Wrists, Glimmering Gizma Blade, and Umbral Crystal. So again, we can switch the crystal out to the Skull or potentially Medicine Pouch. Fighter Ace Gloves. Volatile. Uh, Conocation. Con what is this? Concoction Belt. Can't even read. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this piece. I'm not sure why this is on here. I need to change this. I think this is better. Um, hyperconductive skirt. Extra planar boots. Again, when they're on the cooldown, you can switch to the other boots. Sanguine shadow band. Underworld band. Combustion chamber. And greater insignia of the horde. With the mechano strider gear shifter once again. So, yeah. That will be the shadow bis. Again. Most likely there will be some items that change. We'll find out some new stuff maybe. So they'll be make some adjustments. You never know. If there's anything you straight up don't agree with, then do let me know and uh, we can chat about it in the comments. Maybe we can make some adjustments and the builds in the description will be uh, adjusted as much as possible. 